And even with some light rain across parts of North Alabama this weekend, the burn ban is still in effect. Fire agencies continue to warn people about the dangers of wildfire and why it's so important to not burn anything under these conditions. News 19's Emily Mosner has the details. The Green Mountain Volunteer Fire Department is responsible for three square miles of woods and residential areas on Green Mountain in the southern portions of Madison County. The department tells me crews mostly respond to medical calls and residential fires, but they are fully equipped to handle wildfires. The Volunteer Fire Department has two main vehicles that can handle the steep terrain along with an ATV. The department also has several certified wildland firefighters who have been trained by the Alabama Forestry Commission. Mission. And crews say wildland firefighting is a whole different ball game on a mountain. One of the first things we have to consider is we're fighting the fire from uphill, the direction the fire wants to come from. So there, we have to be a lot more careful in, in how we approach the fire and how we uh, um, strategize around that fire because we're naturally in the direction the fire wants to go. The Alabama Forestry Commission says the intent of the statewide burn ban and drought emergency declaration is to prevent catastrophic wildfires. The Green Mountain Volunteer Fire Department says even with the recent rain, it still isn't safe to burn. On the surface, it looks like we're wet, but underneath it, we're very dry. Thankfully, Green Mountain VFD tells me it very rarely deals with wildland fires on the mountain, and its overall call numbers are pretty low. Coming up on New News 19 at 6. I'll dig into how fire crews say local residents should be prepared just in case of wildfire. For now, I'm reporting on Green Mountain. Emily Moser, News 19. Now, under the statewide burn ban, outdoor burning is not allowed. Campfires and open flames are not allowed at campsites or in backyards. Fireworks are also prohibited. And we have the full details on the burn ban for you on WHNT.com.